Hi, I'm Amy Kirsch and I'm in Belmont Center. I am here to interview Karma Fine Crafts at 68 Leonard Street. They just opened recently and we want to give them a warm welcome. Come join me on today's Belmont Business Spotlight. Coming in from Belmont Center, I walk into the space that's so serene and nice music, beautiful crafts, and I'm so happy that we have this in Belmont Center now. Thank you and welcome. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about you? Uh, tell us your name first. My name is Puni Messen Eames, and I'm one of the founders of Karma Fine Crafts. And my name is Karma Wangta. I'm Puni brother. Well. It's really nice that this is a family affair. I know you have one more person that owns Karma with you. Yes, my husband, Eddie Eames, is not here today. He's here in his spirit. Um, this place is actually um, right now with Karma Wangtop and my husband, Eddie Eames, are regular here. They are running this place. We are so grateful to be part of this community. And I'm so thankful for your um, introduction to the community here today. So how long have you been open now? So we started in December 15th is our really official day. And uh, we've been here. So you here. opened in winter? Yes, it was uh, uh, right before the Christmas season. And we feel that um, although it was sneaking up to the community here, people didn't realize we were here. But I think with your introduction, when you came in the store and uh, share um, to the community That's saying nice. that we are here, and I think it helps so much for people to know that we are here. And so far, it's been going wonderful. And people really enjoy being here, um, coming into the space, and just you know welcoming us. We're so grateful. Can you tell us how you got started? Uh, Karma also is in Newton. So this yes. is your second store that you've opened. Yes. And so can you tell us how Karma Fine Crafts came to be? Yeah, um, it's definitely a long story. I'll make it really make short. Make it as short as possible. Yes. <laughs> so my brother Karma here um, was working in a, a restaurant nearby where Karma Fine Crafts uh, it is right now in Newton Center. And he saw a space that was going... Um, leaving the, the, the business. And at that time, I just finished my schooling at Brandeis, and I was really interested in working with women and children. That was my sort of passion and focus. And at that, during that time that I was um, working in a, another uh, retail uh, establishment, and Karma said, you need to go see the space. And I said, what do you mean? I don't know. I'm not interested. So he really encouraged me almost um, told me, just go see the space. And we, I went to see the space, and, and I saw the space, whatever. Mm -hmm. I didn't think anything. So I was telling this story to a friend of mine who actually grew up in Newton. So um, as I was speaking to a friend uh, about this stuff, and he knew that the friend said, mm -hmm. like, okay, if you're really interested, you would do really good, because he knew that I love people and mm -hmm. connecting with people. And friend really uh, borrowed us the money in the beginning, and I was brave enough to travel back to the Himalayas in Nepal and India. And that's where we first started in terms of just bringing in literally a human like uh, uh, cycle with the carts with the five boxes Amazing. from India. That's how we started in Newton Center. And you guys grew up there, correct? Yes, yeah. Yes. We both, uh, our parents are originally from Tibet. They were nomads from Tibet. And both uh, Carmen and I were born in refugee uh, Tibetan settlement in both North and South India. So we had a lot of exposure in terms of crafts and handmade and, you know, that kind of stuff in India. Obviously, India has so many beautiful, you know, artisan community there. And I went back there and that's how we really um, embarked on this journey was sharing of people's heritage, you know. 
And you've brought so much of it with you. We're so thankful to learn more about it. I think you guys have done a great job with that. How do you cultivate your things? How do you choose? So um, I never went to school to do this. Obviously, this was, uh, you know, um, something that was really um, drawn from interest and love for um, artisan because my mother, our mother was a, a nomadic woman who actually weaved everything back home where we came from. So she was a weaver and I watched her doing a lot of weaving when she was a young um, in Tibet and also in the refugee camp. So I think that's something that I was, you know, in my head, like, why did she take so much time to like dehair the wool and then spun the th into the thread and then dyeing them and weaving them? And maybe it's, you know, back of my head, you know, these things really uh, influenced me, but I didn't realize. So I came here at a very young age and Karma and my rest of my mm. siblings followed me. And I think, um, the fact that there's so much incredible work, not just in overseas in, say, Himalayas, but even right here. You know, that if you look at the traditions of quilting in this country and patchwork in this country, the needlework in this country, I am so drawn to people who um, make things from their heart. So the way we source is really uh, finding a work that's different from everybody else, people who care about their crafts and their passion and their intentional work. And I can't wait to look around. Will you give us a little tour, show us some of your favorite things? Hey, we're here now at your jewelry case. Show us some of your favorite designers. I would love to. So I wanted to sh tell you about Shuna Gulari. She's the Indian descent and her work is all handmade and uh, she sources all stone um, from culture free. Um, she's based here in US, in New York, and all her jewelry here, you can see semi-precious stone, right? And then these are a resin behind the stones. And then you have a black diamond, a brown diamond, but they are put on a sterling silver with 18 karat gold. And they are all handmade and they anyone can dress up or dress down. And they're very affordable for, um, you know, uh, they call it mine cut diamond uh, slice. Nice, so I beautiful. Would, and I would love you to maybe try one of these that might be look really good on you. Um, this is so my style. So this is just a sterling ring with, is it resin? Oh, uh, nope, recycled glass. Recycled she is a San Francisco um, artist base and it's all recycled, hand, hand blown glass and mm -hmm. sterling silver. Dinner. Yep, and they are really, really beautiful. They are light. And this collection, we did really, really well during the um, holiday here. A lot of, um, you know, um, children with their fathers came and bought that collection. That's the last one. I thought that color might look really good with your jacket. I'm buying these. These are going to be mine. I love this section because this men's section solves the biggest problem of what to get my husband on the holidays. I never know what to get him, and now you have a great selection of things. Can you show me some of your favorites? I would love to. So we are looking at here these beautiful leather journals, and some of them are made in Italy, and some of them made here in U.S. Gorgeous. There's ones that looks very sort of... Um, traditional and other ones that looks like a very you know hand done and very rustic and it's a gift for anyone you know uh, for and then yes and these are really really popular they are actually all um, what do you call it sports memorabilia so they're all really well made and so this is made out of a bat, a baseball bat yes, from the Red Sox. Yep, it says it game used bat from the Red Boston Red Sox. Yeah. These so, are very cool. Hey, I noticed that you have incredible housewares going on. Um, can you show me a little bit about what you've chosen to have on your shelves here? Yes, so housewares are something that has always been interested um, in our family because we grew up with literally a wooden bowls are the stuff that what my parents carried in Tibet for like, you know, cups and bowls and stuff. So when I saw the stoneware in this country, it is so beautiful. So I have a weakness for a pottery. So you can see these are all hand done 
They are made by different artists in East Coast in New York and you know other places in Pennsylvania. They're all traditional houseware with the different kinds of glaze. I definitely like more heavier pottery than light pottery. That's something that I feel where we come from. When things are heavy and well made, that means it's a valuable. That's something stuck in my head. Our mission is to really sustainable, fair trade, socially conscious work that really makes an impact. So very important to us. And very important to Belmont. We're so lucky to have you here. Thank well, you for sharing your journey, sharing your story and for being part of Belmont Center. We are so grateful and thank you for giving us the opportunity to do this and share our story. And thank you for everyone who's involved in making this happen. Thank you. And visitors Joanne. at home, come visit Karma Fine Crafts in Belmont Center with Belmont Business Spotlight.